never too late to walk across the stage. A former ASU football player was back on the field today, but for an entirely different That's reason. For sure. ABC 15's Jordan Bonke was at ASU's graduation with how one program made a long-awaited degree finally happen. You know, a lot of, lot of hours on the practice field, a lot of bleeding, a lot of sweating. Some of the most memorable moments of Ted Friedley's life have happened on this field. Our crowd, the ASU crowd, was so loud. It's a little obvious what Monday's memory is, but getting to graduation was no traditional route for the now 55-year-old. When Ted was just five years old, legendary ASU coach Frank Cush came into his life through his father, also a coach. And the kid from Tucson, of all places, knew where his allegiance would lie. And Frank Cush is sitting in the living room with my dad talking about football, watching game film. And at that moment, I knew I wanted to play football at ASU. It wasn't really a want as much as I knew. You know? Fast forward to 1986, and not only is Ted protecting the quarterback and running lanes as an offensive lineman for the Sun Devils, but he played in the Rose Bowl against Michigan when Jim Harbaugh was a quarterback. The Devils won that game by a touchdown. We embarrassed him a little bit. What Ted put on the field also put him in the training room. He tells us he needed multiple surgeries when he was a student athlete. Big guys hit hard. <laughs> so when Ted's playing career came to an early end, even with nearly 120 credit hours, like, I was on the two yard line. Two. His pursuit of a degree was put on pause. Once I couldn't play football anymore, uh, I, I just kind of lost interest in class. So for the next 37 years, Ted had kids, he worked in insurance, but knew there was unfinished business at his old stomping grounds. So through a program called Sun Devil for Life, which allows former student athletes to come back and finish their degree, Ted got one more big moment on the field Monday, this time in the form of a sociology degree, nearly four decades in the making. Just proving to myself that I could learn, regardless of my ADHD, that was a huge part of all this. Um, in a sense of accomplishment, you know, setting out to do something and, and completing it. Never too late. In Tempe, Jordan Bondke, ABC 15, Arizona. Thanks, Jordan.